Kenneth Vance for Rooftop Videos. Normally I don't do an evening video. The lighting's not as good, but so much has been going on. I haven't had much time to be on the channel. Why well, I have glasses on at the moment. I'm going to talk a little bit about this Israeli situation dealing with her Hassan Nasrallah being taken out. Now, he was taken out on the Day of Atonement, if you go by the full moon calendar. The crescent moon, believers, you're in a lot of trouble. You are in a lot of trouble. The churches are in trouble. The U.S. government, the censors, Google and YouTube, the, the, the censorship, you're in trouble. The banking cartels, you're in trouble. Everybody's in trouble except for the overcomers. Now when it came to the April 8th total solar eclipse, he says you're being X'd out. That means that was a sign that says you have just whatever amount of time left. What happened? Well, geez, excuse my language, but I'm pretty pissed off at Alex Jones. The pager attacks took place on his on Israeli so-called Israeli time on trumpets. Alex Jones didn't cover it. Who's he covering for? Is the better question. Better statement. He didn't cover it at all. He's too damn busy with Donald Trump. This rapper P. Diddy got her and I don't care about P. Diddy, whoever, whatever. This is baloney. It's bullcrap. It does not matter. Get with a program. That tells me whose side he's on. That cell phone attack on trumpets led to the next day with Russia getting hit with that massive explosion in which they can't take it much more. They can't have all their ammo wiped out. Something's getting ready to bust loose. I don't see him covering it. It's Donald Trump, P. Diddy, the protests in the streets, and whatever garbage he wants to cover like many others. You're getting it all backwards, and you got your attention focused on that, which is not important right now. Trump's not going to save us. Kamala's not going to save us. Nobody's going to save us. Politics, the election, the whatever and however is not going to save us. Now go back to the book of Joel like I've discussed. What does he say? Blow the trumpet in Zion, feast the trumpets, sanctify a fast, a day of atonement, gather and assemble tabernacles. He's talking about a particular seventh month. But what else is Joel talking about? The beginning of an end time move. Israel hit them with the cell phones, and now they've been bombing, bombing, they wiped out everyone, and on atonement, they wiped out Nasrallah. You think there's not going to be a response? There's going to be a response. There has to be now, because you know how I see it? I see it how I know they're seeing it. They know that so-called Israel is going to just bomb and bomb and bomb nonstop. They already know it. They have to respond. They're being forced into it anyway. They're going to have to respond. And that response leads to all out, pay a horse, World War III, boom, boom scenario. That's exactly where we are in this seventh Hebrew month. Trumpets has been going on since Trumpets, King Atonement, they wiped out Nasrallah, all the, and between that, those two, wiping out their 
chief leaders and just today they hit Yemen, the Houthis they're just out bombing everybody now here's the problem people it's B square time it's being honest time you're in a lot of trouble churches you're in the worst trouble even more than the US government you churches are in a lot of damn trouble excuse my language but you're in trouble because it's you bastards you lying church pastors that teach the United States is not in biblical prophecy anywhere to be found Babylon is a Catholic church or whatever you want to come up with you're gonna pay for that you're leading the sheep into the slaughterhouse of the last days that is already in motion churches that's why I'm angry at you I have that right because I stand with the truth because it does not confirm you lying church pastors and all those in the churches that are still listening to this hogwash the United States is going to be held responsible for what took place now I'm no fan of Islam I'm no fan of it or terrorism but the number one terrorist place in all the earth is that so-called Israel over there therefore I condemn the speeches of you churchites that are out cheerleading what that false Israel over there is doing that's not Israel the king cursed a fig tree and just shortly after it says now learn a parable of the fig tree what fig tree the one he just cursed the parable of the fig tree is the fig tree he cursed that so-called restoration of Israel on May 14 1948 is cursed yes that parable does that is them yeah that is them all right yeah but it's the false restoration of Israel United mm -hmm. States is the headship tribe of mm -hmm. Ephraim and I'm sick and tired of it grow up about this England is Manessa Ephraim's brother grow up about this get it in your head Churches have lied to you. They're going to pay because the bloodshed being caused by Satan's seed line, the counterfeit Jews over there in counterfeit Israel, the United States has funded. We gave them bombs, bullets, planes. We pay for it all. That makes us receive. Responsible, therefore the Father in heaven will judge this country. America will fall and it will pay. Because we enable the counterfeit Jews, those murderous, war monging pieces of satanic crap over there, the right to go bomb whoever they want to. And while they're busy bombing Lebanon, if my understanding is right, one third of Lebanon is Christian. Not the Christians are getting it right, but at least they're, there's some Bible there somewhere. It's not all a bunch of, of turban wearing men in tents all over Lebanon. I've seen pictures of it, it's a beautiful place. No, it's all about Satan's agenda. And the New World Order's agenda. So I know this is going to get shadow banned. I don't care. You churchites, you're in a lot of trouble.
you're in a lot of trouble. America's about to be judged and it's going to fall shortly. Oh, no, it ain't, Kenneth. Oh, yeah, it is, too, which I show in my next video. If you got the eyes to see it. Now, I probably won't do it this evening. I'm going to recommend to you one of the most powerful videos you have ever seen in your life if you have any discernment whatsoever inside of you. Because if you watch this video hour and a half long and you don't get it, you're never going to get it. You're weak. Sorry, I'm, I'm abrasive and mean tonight. That is counterfeit Israel. Just over this last week, two Christians telling me, if we don't support Israel, we're going to be cursed. No, that's the other way around. We support them. You will be cursed. You don't support them. That's the seed line of the serpent. The counterfeit Jews ruling over there. That's not the restoration of Israel. Ezekiel says, as the resurrection is taking place, then the two sticks are joined together. Now, that's at the end of tribulation time. Yeah, that's right, because Israel has not been restored yet. If they were restored yet, where's all the promised blessings for a restored Israel? It's been nothing but war since 1948. Who am I to believe? The churches? Or he who sits on the throne, maybe. Got it? Get it. So when they assassinated this leader from 1992, Nasrallah, they poked the beast. And the churches are about to learn their greatest lesson. This very well might be the straw that broke the camel's back. This might very well be the very thing that's going to cause these things to happen. Number one, churches are going to learn there's no rapture. Then they're going to learn that so-called Israel, they lost and they will lose. Third, they're going to learn there's no such thing as automatic protection. Once saved, always saved. He's only out to bless us. While we're being oblivious to his commands. And all your false doctrines and your interpretations of prophecy is about to go to the trash can, churchites. This is a message to you. I know none of you is going to hear it, but I'm speaking it out into the realm. Not my fault I'm being censored. You speak the truth, you're censored. They tried to censor the king by trying to get rid of him. They tried to censor the prophets by martyring them. They tried to censor the saints by martyring them. Censorship, the oldest game in the book. And yet you churchites all over the internet. Millions of views. Why? Because you're no threat. Satan and his AI program knows exactly who and what to target. To censor us. Shadow ban us. And yet you churchites are still out there preaching your garbage. You're still out there preaching your lies, your heresies, whatever you want to come up with. You churchites need to repent and come out. I'd rather see that. But with, the, with, with this assassination here, oh, they ain't going to do nothing. That's just empty threats. It can't be empty threats anymore, people. Iran knows they're next. They're not even guessing on this. I'm not even in their boardrooms because common logic tells you that. They know it's not. it, it would never stop. Never. There's no peace deals. There's no treaties. It's only about wiping everybody out. Because the seed line of the devil wants to rule it all. That's plain and simple. They're going to have to move and retaliate. 
It's going to drag Mother Russia in, probably China in, whoever, whatever. It's all going to hit. And when it hits, there's no power grid, no food in the stores, probably internet, cell phone, bye-bye. Water treatments, no natural gas to cook with. It's all going down and all these sleeper cells in America will be activated out of retaliation. A Babylon America is going to be retaliated against by the winnowers in Jeremiah chapters 50 51. That's going to happen. Oh, but that's going to be Israel of old. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh huh. Yeah, uh huh. <laughs> when it's happening to you and it's really coming in through your front door. Then tell me, that's for Israel of old, even though they're shooting my door out! I got no food! My kids are starving! Everything's gone crazy! Yeah, that's Israel of old! Uh-huh. You're about to find that one out too, churches, as shown in Amos chapter 8 and 9. That's what these eclipses were about, and I knocked this over, but oh well. We're being X'd out. 2024 is the year. With the assassination, and I don't care about them, it's just that they catapulted events because of their killing of Hassan Nasrallah. There's going to be retaliation. I'm no fan of Islam, I'm just speaking it from the biblical and even the common sense point of view. Retaliation is on the way, America. You said you ain't gonna fall. Oh, yeah, you are gonna fall. And in my next video, I'm gonna show you what you don't wanna hear. 